We're going to join now Michelle Fox and Natalie Martinborough, who are standing at the corner of Wolf Road and Blue Hill Road as the procession approaches them now. Of course, the procession making its way to the St. Agnes Cemetery. We'll join now Michelle Fox and Natalie Martinborough. Michelle, Wolf Road is a sea of colors this afternoon. Umbrellas are going up everywhere as hundreds of Bahamians land the procession route to get the final glimpse of the former Prime Minister, Sinandan Pinley. And now throughout the, pro the funeral procession route, locations have been selected and they're all of significant importance to Salindon. I was told that Wolf Road was chosen because of the popular Windsor Park. In the early days of the PLP, Windsor Park was the location for most of the PLP rallies and that is where Sir Lyndon met with supporters to teach them about politics and the Bahamas and that is where it gained the name the University of Wolf Road. Michelle, we are going to talk now with some residents of your providence about the significance of Salinden to politics in the Bahamas. Procession is now coming. Of course, cameramen are all around trying to capture this last moment of Salinden with us. crowd behind us, Michelle is gleaming with pride as they look on, capturing this moment in their memories and also with cameras. Toddlers are here as there's no school today. And that's one student said earlier. 
hoped, hoping to obtain all the, the information today so as to share it with our friends tomorrow. Judiciary, followed by senators. Hi, hi. And the rousing round of applause to members of Parliament. You can try to get him to use the interviews. I'm not sure about that. Police officers approaching now. Quite a colorful procession. so very well and the persons to whom he knew that he was indebted coming before us is the National Gospel Mass Choir which was formed in 1991. It's under the direction of the Reverend Patrick Smith. This choir was formed as a part of Youth Month in 1991. The glory of youth it then recognized. Following other members of the Lodge, which Salon was a part of. This has been a 
huge parade, one that we have not seen for years. And our children are watching and taking to just say hello to our families and friends and everyone everywhere. But God bless each and every one of us and the entire nation as a whole. Natalie, indeed, family has always been important, but we also have women who have Salinan so has really helped uh, in showing about majority rule. And also, to, a lot of lessons have been learned here. And we're now speaking with Vivica Watkins, and we want to ask Ms. Watkins, what are her fondest memories, and what does this all mean to her, actually coming out here to witness this great day funeral? My fondest memory of Lyndon was in 1992 at his birthday party when he honored me, a member of the National Movement, the first piece of cake at his birthday party. And I will never forget that. To me, that was one of the most important moments of my life. And it showed the type of person that he was. He loved all the Bahamians and he respected everyone for their political beliefs. As a Bahamian, he respected me a woman, as a free national movement member, as a Bahamian, and, and to me, I mean, that was something, I mean, I could tell my children, my grandchildren, everything about that, because to me, that was, I was so proud that night when he gave me that piece of cake. Indeed, so Lyndon was very empathetic with all the members of the community. And I guess that is the one characteristic that stands out and makes him loom greater than a giant. Back to you, Michelle, in the studio. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. We saw a sea of people following the procession as they make their way to the St. Agnes Cemetery where the remains of the late Right Honorable Sir Lyndon Pinling will be laid to rest.